less than a week, the South Bend School Board will receive a recommendation on right-sizing the district's facilities. Good evening and thank you for joining us. I'm Lauren Moss. And I'm Terry McFadden. The third-party expert opinion will come at a meeting scheduled for Monday at Clay High School. Mark Peterson joins us live with more. Mark. And that third party expert opinion will be formed taking into account uh, the opinions of students, uh, staff and parents. The latest summary of uh, the public opinion, how things are going here was presented at the community meeting last night. There were a lot of numbers to sift through and one big fat fact to face. I can promise you we're not going to have a recommendation everyone's going to like. Um, our goal is to get people to the point where I may not agree or support with what you're recommending, but I understand the process and how you got there. 50% of survey respondents support keeping the status quo of four South Bend high schools. 30% support going to three high schools by presumably closing clay. Only 12% support the suggestion of going with two high schools, closing clay and making Riley a middle school. The experts interpret that to mean there is support for closing a high school, noting patrons affiliated with Clay skewed the results. They made up 36% of all survey respondents, but they only make up 14% of the district's high school enrollment. It's like we're trying to right size the district so that we're not spending money on utilities and empty buildings so that we can get more dollars into the classrooms. So we want to make sure that we're spending more money on programming, things that enhance the, the schools. Uh, it, it's not fun to, you know, heat buildings that we're not using uh, and to fix roofs that are leaking that we're not using. The plan calls for the recommendation on the future of facilities to uh, be presented to the board at a meeting on Monday, although a vote's not expected until April. I believe it is the meeting on the 17th. All right, Mark Peterson live for us tonight. Mark, thank you.